What's your names? Susie. So why, why are you here selling lemonade today? Because it's lemonade day because the kids are pressing around and the lemonade are being shut down. Wow, you're so smart. High five. in a police state is shutting down the kids' lemonade stand. Oh, That's God, that is too perfect. Pathetic. Ladies and gentlemen, we're selling lemonade without a permit in protest of them shutting down the kids' lemonade stand for not having a permit. So we're out here today selling lemonade without a permit. We didn't ask for permission. We're, we're committing an illegal act right now. We're actually here because of all across the country they're shutting down kids' lemonade stands for not having permits. So we're here in, in defiance of those laws. You have my permission. We're not asking anybody for permission. We're, we're, we're taking the permission because we, we, we don't have to ask anybody for permission to, to exchange goods with people who like want to sell buy for kids to sell lemonade. Exactly. And basically what we're doing is here, we're setting this up. We didn't ask for a permit and we're doing it in defiance of those laws. We're standing so up for the kids. Is gonna arrest you? Uh, it's a possibility. Oh it's a possibility, yeah. Uh, but We're doing this to be civilly disobedient without a, selling it without a permit to protest. The fact that police departments and municipalities all over the country have been cracking down on children's lemonade stands. See the look. See, can I get a look on this? Look, look. asinine. Local police departments, health departments have been coming down and shutting down children's lemonade stands. Which, yes, see, smile like incredulous look on your face. Like, can you believe they'll send armed men through threat of force to tell children they can't sell lemonade and engage in voluntary exchange? And it's just, it's my God, how on America? I mean, you know, ridiculous. Have you got nothing better to do? Yeah. What kind of cold-hearted man do you have to be? Shut down children's lemonade, and they've been doing it all over the country. So a woman contacted me from Nevada, and she told me that she, she has two young young daughters, and they shut down her lemonade stand in Reno, Nevada, uh, for not having a permit. And what actually what happened is, is they live the family lives just outside of um, a golf course there, and they were hosting the PGA Open, and so a vendor inside actually complained um, so he the, the vendor ended up calling the uh, the Department of Health the Department of Health ended up going to visit the girls and gave them a written uh, notice it was a, basically a written warning saying that they had to shut down and if they weren't if they wouldn't shut down they would be fined so um, the woman contacted me about it and I wrote up a little article put it on lemonadefreedom.com and I sent it to all the uh, Nevada the local Nevada um, news outlets there and they picked it up and eventually the, the woman called me up the mother called me up and she said that uh, the director of the catering at the event called her girls up and offered them uh, that next year they, they can set up a lemonade stand right on the 18th hole at the PGA Open so I mean it, it, it ended up working out great for them because uh, now they have a great opportunity that you know most people will never get yeah I mean sometimes these things turn out great you know I, I'd like to see it more often I'd like to I'd like to see more uh, uh, kids not harassed for uh, selling lemonade. I also saw an article um, out of uh, Queens, New York that, uh, I, I forget if it was uh, two, two, two girls, I, I believe it was again, who had a lemonade stand in Queens and the police came down and shut them down again for not having a permit. So, and they actually fined them and ticket, ticketed them, them too. So, uh, I mean, it's ridiculous. I searched across uh, the internet. I, I was thinking maybe that was the only case that has ever happened and I looked and I saw case after case after case after case of kids' lemonade stands being shut down. I said, this is ridiculous. So I came up with the idea of Lemonade Freedom Day. We're here today, we don't have a permit to be here. Okay. Um, you know, and, and our main purpose of, of being here is to raise awareness, to, um, to, to, to let people know that whenever there's some type of ridiculous law like that, that as, as good people, we need to disobey those laws. Yeah. You know, and that's, that's what we're out here doing today, and we're trying to spread this message. We need to get out here more. We need to have more people doing it because that's the way we can beat these type of things by, you know, people in the community just going out and, 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 and breaking bad laws. Part, part of what I want to show portray to people is that, you know, it's important that regardless of the law, that we need to stand together as a community, as a society, and we need to 
disobey those laws. You know, there's there's too many times throughout history where laws have been created that that are harmful to people, that do damage to people. You know, and and I mean, I mean, there's there's plenty of times. You know, I mean, right now there's there's plenty of people in in cages in jail cells right now for for committing crimes that they haven't harmed anybody, where there's no victim, and they're they're being you know taxpayer dollars are being stolen from people to keep these people in jail cells. You know, that's that's part of the problem too. So I think I think part of the message too is is that you know that we can do something about it, that we can do something without having to beg for permission, that we can just ignore those laws. If, if, if everybody to were, were, were to ignore bad laws, then there's nothing that they can do about it because there's too many of us as compared to them. You know, so that's, that's, that's a big part of the awareness is, is to wake people up to say you have power as an individual, that you can do something, you can disobey this, and other people will join you and help you, and, 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 and that's why we're all here together. That's why, we have many, that's why it's not just one of us here. That's why there was many of us here, because there's strength in numbers. You know, and, and sometimes laws are just are just not only not only ridiculous, like like uh, shutting down kids' lemonade stands. That's ridiculous. But other laws are completely harmful. You know, if you really think about it, there really should only be one law: is do no harm to others or their property. You know, that's. I mean, other than that, why can't we live in peace? If 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 I if I can't do harm to you, you can't do harm to me. What else do we need? You know, if I want to sell lemonade to him and he wants to buy lemonade from me, then, I mean, what's the big deal? Why do I need to ask for a third party somewhere for permission to do so? Yeah, I mean, I mean, some of these ridiculous laws, it's like, it's like so many people spend too much time petitioning and begging politicians to change the laws. Instead, we, out, we outnumber them, you know? Like, just go out and do it. Yeah. Yeah. Just go out and do it. If enough people do it, there's nothing that they can do. City, that's, why. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm trying to do, it, to, to create that type of awareness. You're awesome. Oh, you are too, man. Yeah, so I mean, that, that's that's our goal is to show people that, that they should break bad laws. You know, laws, just because something is a law doesn't mean it's etched in stone and we have to listen to it. And your rights are just like exercising your mind and exercising your, your body. And if you don't use those rights, they're going to deteriorate. And that's what's happened in this country and in plenty of other countries as well, is that people's rights have deteriorated because they've, they've put all their confidence and all their trust in a few people that in high power. And, and they've let them tell them what to do and dictate what, what they should do and what they can't do in their life. People need to exercise your rights the same way you need to exercise your brain and your body to keep everything functioning properly. Yes. Instead of just, you know, sitting back when we hear stories like this that are just so ridiculous. And that's what I do, I'll be honest. Yeah, yeah. Hey, what's that, inspiration. Yeah, well, that's... Like, I don't have a most power. Well, that's, well, well, everybody has power. That's, that's the thing. I mean, if you look at me, I came up with one idea to come up with LemonadeFreedom.com, the website, to get people to go out. And it was spread across not only the nation, but the, but the world. I had reporters from Portugal contact me. We were on the front page of the Portugal newspaper. And just like things like that. So one person can make a difference, you know, especially now with these social media and things like that. It's amazing the way the message can start spreading, you know. So, so you know, a lot of times, most people, and I was always the same way too, we, we would look at it something and we'd say, oh, this is ridiculous. Could you believe that they shut down a girl's lemonade stand? And then you would sit back and say, this is ridiculous. And then you would put it to the side and just forget about it. And, and, and you, expect, you expect somebody else to stand up for these kids, you know. You think that you can't change anything, but you really can. You know, and it, all it takes is one person to start a spark and then, and then that spark starts spreading like like a wildfire you know what can we do um, same thing I mean just just go go out um, set up organize an event set up a lemonade stand you know do it without without asking for permission um, you know public awareness is, is, is the key look if, if you want to contact me through, through, through lemonadefreedom.com or anything like that if you want to get involved at all let me know would you like to have some illegal lemonade <laughs> freedom never tasted so sweet we need change, and change comes from the bottom up. Change starts from you, you the editor, change starts from you, you the cameraman. Yeah. So make sure you come, it's late. Yeah. We, like, we should fight for our future. These people that are old, they want to fuck up America. We can't sit and do that, okay? We can do it if we fight every day. We can defeat evil. Every day before you come, I pray to God, God, no weapons shall fall against me shall ever prosper. You will be safe, and we can defeat them, okay? You know, we have to show that we're not going to be pushed around by the police who abuse their authority all the time. Here, I, I have a permit. I've Let me see your permit. I want to see it. Okay. Let's walk over here. So we can well, see it. Right. Because I want to see it. So you can let go of the permit. Okay. Let me see the permit. Let me see it. Come over here. Don't you have your own copy? The final step in a police state is shutting down the kids' lemonade stand. Oh.